I guess I would suggest maybe not asking direct questions, taking the conversation into your own hands, obviously, because you don't want to just sit there with silences, maybe doing an activity like a lot of times shy people don't want the focus to be on just talking. So if you're going for a walk, if you're bowling, if you're doing something else and then talking about your story and your life, maybe telling some jokes, you know, like giving them the time and the space to warm up to you because sometimes they just need more time. Well, I basically uh, seek out eye contact very gently uh, and leave it at their own pace. Uh, and I, I try to hear what they have to say and to react specifically to it so that they know that I'm interested in talking to them and that I'm not acting. Um, and then... And then I basically um, try to gently draw out some fact or thing about themselves that I can reflect back to them. And uh, I keep it very positive, very gentle. And I get if I get the sense that they don't want to talk, I don't make it about me. I just say, okay. Oh, thanks to the two of you uh, for responding so far. Radio Rockwood and Shantastic. Yeah, those are really, really good suggestions. And anyone who's, you know, uh, dealing with a shy person should listen to what you guys have to say. Uh, we all have shy people in our lives. And um, there's a, a lot of shy people on Spoon, actually, as well. So, yeah, thank you. Well, all I can say to that um, is that be their friend and try to have a conversation with them and introduce yourself and say, Hi, my name is blah, 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 blah. How are you doing? Don't be shy. You know, make a conversation with them and just be there. And also, I meant to say, uh, be their friend. And so, imagine being in their shoes. Like, how would how would another person approach you? How would they want to talk to you? Just imagine. Because if I were me, you know, because I am shy. And I don't talk much either. Sometimes I do. I, w- I want somebody to treat me nice. Okay, so as one who is very antisocial theirself, I'm going to be speaking from my perspective and basically how I would go about that. Um, so when approaching someone who is shy, you never want to make them feel bombarded, you know? You don't want to make them feel like they have to do the talking. You want to be able to initiate the conversation and make them feel comfortable. So n- first things first, you don't want to be clingy. Yeah, you don't want to be clingy. And um, with that, usually when I approach people who are shy or antisocial, I usually find them or catch them in the moment of doing some sort of activity, whether that be drawing. Not saying that all antisocials are drawers, but, you know, most of the times I find them doing their interest or a hobby. And so usually with that, it spikes up a very good conversation so i would probably like crack a joke or um just you know say like oh hey i like this too and usually that's just that's just people skills you know like when you find common interests with someone it usually sparks up a conversation so that's usually what i would do first um i never want to make the person feel clingy or uncomfortable um you know just be very lighted like Just be very lightheaded with it, and um, usually a lot of shy people I find have a very soft, mellow tone, 
So you want to be able to also fall into that range, speak in a very soft, mellow tone and make them feel calm, make them feel comfortable. Do not be afraid to make it be, you know, be out there. So yeah, that's it. Say hi. I would say whatever you can do to make someone comfortable, so whether it's just kind of light casual conversation, engaging like something you have in common, um, would probably be the best way to kind of start. And depending on how they um, react, just kind of like making a way forward, um, you know, as gently as you can, I would say. Hey everyone, thank you for all your responses. I'm going to listen to them again today. And I, I just, you know, am so grateful for all of you who shared your, your ideas, your opinions, your thoughts, and your tips. And uh, I think the person who initially asked this, uh, my friend, would really benefit from this. And I'm going to share it with them as well. So... Also, I'm make, I'm doing this uh, July challenge, which I started and created myself. <laughs> I'm challenging myself, and um, I'm going to actually do a question of the day. And I mean, I've been doing this for like almost two months now, every day on Spoon, right? So I'm going to actually uh, compile some of these and actually um, share it with other people and introduce them to Spoon, teach them how to use Spoon. And so, if you want to know more. Yeah, check out my recent cast where I talk a bit more about my July 2020 YouTube challenge. I'm going to, like I say, compile some of my talks here on Spoon and actually share it with people on YouTube and other platforms. And I want to introduce them to Spoon so that we have more people uh, on Spoon. Um, and um, and also want to share, share like tips and different things Hey Roxy, thank you so much for responding to this talk. Uh, what you said was really, really helpful. Uh, my friend is very grateful for you. And what you said about just being the friend, I mean, that's like something we need to do more in this world. A lot of times people feel alone and they feel isolated and they don't know how to reach out to people because they are, you know, they're more or less introverted, right? So being someone's friend and just reaching out is a great tip. <laughs> Roxy, what do you mean you don't talk much? You're actually like the top three. You're always top three on the uh, uh, top talkers on the talk section of Spoon. There's a lot of talk there. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you talk a lot, um, which is great. I mean, people love you and, you know, you have lots of fans and people appreciate what you say. So you are you are being a friend and I'm glad that you're my friend. I'm an introvert, so personally, people often tell me, oh, you're so quiet, or you don't say much, and I really don't like it when they say that, like, yeah, I know I'm quiet, and I think what helps is try to have them lead the conversation, like, you know, ask what they're interested in, ask their opinion on things, give them a chance to talk, instead of just talking over them. Look, it does. That's very, very, very true. Actually, um, sometimes people who are quiet, um, they get overlooked and overshadowed by people who are more boisterous or more loud and vocal. <laughs> um, and a lot of shy people or introverted people, they don't actually complete their sentences because when they get interrupted, they just stop. And I think one of the things I learned is to keep talking, even though I am kind of introverted.
Thank you again everyone for responding and sharing your thoughts and ideas, and strategies and tips. This has been really, really helpful. I know there's a lot of shy people in the world and if anyone ever comes across this talk, they can learn how to um, talk with other shy people. Um, it's always awkward when two shy people talk to each other. It's always a lot of awkward silence and hopefully we all learn to talk to shy